Oh, I didn't see you there. Did you know that there might have been chemicals in the milk you had with your cereal this morning? That's right. Hi, my name is Stephanie Mann, and today I'll be discussing RBST hormones in milk. Follow me. Bovine growth hormone, also known as RBST, is given to cows so they can mature faster and produce more milk. RBSTs were first introduced in 1993 and given to about 22% of cows. In 2007, 17% of cows still had RBSTs. Although there are opposing groups pushing for it to be removed from the market, there are still RBSTs in cows today. Are RBSTs bad, you ask? Well, let me explain. Cows given hormones are prone to have health problems. When cows are given antibiotics to treat the health problems, some of the antibiotics end up in the milk. Injecting cows with hormones can cause them to produce more of an insulin-like hormone, which can increase the risk of some cancers like colon and breast cancer in humans. Not to mention, RBSTs are banned in Canada, Australia, New Zealand, Japan, and 27 countries in Europe. Farmers manufacture RBSTs, which are injected into cows. Cows then get health problems and are given antibiotics to treat them. The antibiotics end up in the milk, and the milk is consumed by the humans, causing cancer. Though it may seem surprising, the FDA, the Department of Health and Human Services, and the National Institute of Health have agreed that this type of milk is safe to drink. Now that's refreshing. If you're concerned about drinking milk with RBST and want to learn how to avoid it, look for milk labeled RBST free or drink organic. Thank you for joining me on this learning adventure. Until next time, goodbye.